Today, I'm gonna to show you the easiest possible way to add custom fonts into Oxygen Builder. This doesn't require fiddling around with plugins where it makes you add every single font weight and font style. Instead, you upload everything to a single directory and this code snippet does all of the heavy lifting for you. So we'll get into how to do it, but here I wanted to show you what it looks like. You don't have to do anything. It automatically adds your font family into Oxygen and I can just simply choose which one I want, which is amazing. The other thing is it also picks up the styles for you like font weights and things like italic and that sort of thing based on the file name automatically. So there's no fiddling around, you just simply upload the fonts to a directory and voila, you got it in Oxygen. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. Now, first of all, this code snippet comes from Matthias Altman, and uh, hopefully I'm saying your name right, but he is a contributor in the Oxygen community and has been around for some time now. So this is a snippet that I came across recently as I was looking for a better way to install fonts, and it just works so, so well. It's really incredible. So the, the guide here is very detailed and you can go through this, but the things to touch on real quick is that you essentially don't need any third-party plugins except code snippets, which for me, I use on almost every site anyway. So it's really not doing anything you know negatively on my site. I'm not having to add another plugin because it's already there. What you're gonna wanna do is grab the code snippet file. So go ahead and download this JSON, which is essentially the export file for code snippets that then simply we just import. So go ahead and download that. You can kind of read through some of this, which I've already touched on, that it will pick up all the different font weights and styles and stuff. And then it also, of course, supports all of these font formats. So generally, if you're going to buy a web font or a font that you convert into a web font, you're gonna end up with the WAF, or as I call it, WUF, um, file extensions, WUF or WUF2, as you can see. The other thing is, of course, like I mentioned, you can add the names and the keywords into the fonts and they automatically pick up. Generally, when you purchase a font or if you download it, they're probably already gonna be named, but you can adjust it accordingly. So let's say you have your font. I wanted to quickly show you what I have on that site where it's working. The only thing I have is code snippets. And then in this particular example, we're gonna use WP File Manager to actually browse to create the font directory. But I would typically do this with FTP just because that's the way that I prefer to do it and not have another plugin. But so that I don't have to log into FTP, I am going to use WP File Manager. Both options are perfectly acceptable. Now, I've set myself up here with a clean install, so we're gonna start from the beginning. First of all, let's go ahead and add a new plugin, and we are just going to search for code snippets. You have probably seen me do this before in other videos. Code snippets is really useful, and in this case, it's essential, of course, for this particular tutorial. So now that you have code snippets, what you can do is just hover over this and go to import, and we are just simply going to browse for that JSON file that you downloaded a moment ago. So you can see I already have the oxygen custom fonts.json and we just simply wanna go upload files and import. It tells you it imported successfully. We'll click the little have fun here and we're just gonna go ahead and turn this on. That's all you have to do. There's nothing else to do except of course, upload the fonts, which we're gonna to get to now. We'll just go the file manager route to keep it nice and simple and not have to bother with FTP, but I typically like to delete these plugins entirely once I'm done using it. So I'm gonna go with file manager. And this first one is the one that I am a bit familiar with. These plugins to me add a bit of risk to your site. That's why I prefer FTP. But like I said, whenever you're done using this, I would say deactivate it and delete it entirely off your site just to be safe. But what we're gonna do is go here to WP File Manager and we're gonna browse to the, oh, I don't want that. I'm gonna get that out of here. We're gonna go to WP Content, Uploads, and then we're gonna create a new directory here. We'll just call this one Fonts. We're gonna go ahead and go into our fonts folder here. And now what you're gonna do is upload the font files that you want to have in your Oxygen site. So in my case, I already have some in it as an example, which I'm just gonna go ahead and pop in here. So here is some fonts that I've gone ahead and tossed in. You can see that they're named in, in a certain way. I'm interested to see how this behaves when it has two different font formats. I don't think it's gonna really make any difference because the code snippet in the um, website on the description says that it lets the browser choose the best format. So it should be pretty handy for you to upload whatever you need. And then the browser just, of course, does the heavy lifting for you. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a couple more here. So we have quite a few different fonts to check out. Okay, so we have both a regular set of fonts as well as a decorative set. So now we should be able to go into Oxygen and it just worked. There's really nothing else. You just simply need to get the fonts in this fonts directory. And then of course you need to have that code snippet turned on. So let's go over into our Oxygen templates and let's take a look. Okay, so I have really nothing on this template. So let's just start with a section and take a look at some of our fonts. We'll just add in a heading here. 
and under our font family, there is the two sets of fonts that we added. Now, of course, there's only two, but when we uploaded them, there was like eight in total or more. And like I mentioned, it picks up all of the different styles for you. And then that way you're not having to worry about choosing from a bunch of different fonts. You can use the font weight dropdown. You can use the italic button and all of that is just handled for you. So let's go ahead and choose Sinzel. And there we go. So our font switched here in the builder, as you can see, and we should be able to play with some of these font weights. So there's 300 and 500, let's see, 600. How many font weights do we have? Maybe only two in this case, but it does change as you can see using the oxygen interface. And then I can't remember if we had an italic version of this, but there is at least the slight italic, which in this case might not be a true italic. But anyway, you get the point, the font weight is there. Then of course we can switch to our decorative one. So Senzel decorative, it's just got a little bit of, you know, sort of some frills like off of the D there, there's an extra little thing. It doesn't look that much different, but it's at least somewhat different as you can see. And of course, if we just go save and take a look on the front end, make sure it loads there too. There we go. So there is our new font. Let's inspect it and kind of take a look at what it says. So over here in the lower right, you can see the font family is the Sensel decorative and our font weight is 700. So definitely super easy to do. This is something that I've run into problems before using other third-party plugins. It just isn't as easy. This is just about as simple as it gets, I think. And when I'm trying to install a font, that is something I don't want to spend any extra time on than what is absolutely required. So having this is absolutely amazing. Now, of course, just before we end, this link is going to be in the description below. So make sure you check this out. Give Matias your support. And hopefully there will be more tutorials from him like this in the future because this is just incredibly handy. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in a future video. Bye-bye.